Hey everybody, it's Loner. Yeah, this is going up Smarts Mountain. Just beautiful. It was a beautiful day. Yeah, now the fire tower. I climbed up every fire tower that I found along Smarts the way. Smarts Mountain fire tower. And this hawk's flying around. It's really neat. I don't know how high we are. We're up there pretty good. Pretty neat, huh? It was a heck of a climb getting up here, though, but it was fun. I met a dude just now. He's at the bottom. He's from Ireland. That's kind of interesting. He's going south. He's that, though. He's about 200 miles mindless. Oh, he's going slow. I'll miss him. His name is Mosey for a reason. <laughs> 19 days in the wilderness. Yeah. Whoa! He, he went three miles and took three zeros. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, this is the fire warden's cabin on top of Smarts Mountain. Nice little porch. I like all the old uh, carvings. Wow. Pretty neat. Wow, this is awesome. Well, that's a big ass book. A broke mirror. Hey guys, please stay tuned to the very end of this video for a few pictures from my recent AT presentation and a special book review. A cool little ledge you can walk out on. Isn't that awesome? Well, you can slide down that probably. Coming up next is a fun group. I see Tall Oaf, Kleenex, Dead Eye, Castaway, and another gentleman I'm not sure of. Yeah, that was so cool. He just walked in. Uh, Baltimore Jack's kind of a legend on the trail. Um, it was really cool to meet him, and he gave us some really good tips. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2016, uh, helping out at the Ron Haven uh, Hiker Hotels. Eighteen thirteen on that one. Wow. Oh. This is the first mountain in the whites. And it gets gnarly from here on out. But it's so beautiful. Look at those clouds, man. You can reach out and touch them. Amazing. I can't wait till I get to the top. Yeah, this is Anobo's first uh, true experience above Alpine zone, uh, above tree line. Yeah, you know, 4,800 feet. That's getting up there. It's chilly up here, but it's not too bad. It is so beautiful. This might be the most beautiful mountain I've seen. Look at this view. I wish you could zoom in so you could really see it. I washed out. It's really beautiful in person. Here's some crazy steps. You know, they know what's going on around them. Carriage Motel in New Hampshire. Yes, it was a cool little place. I had some issues, but uh, overall, I really liked it. And uh, now, coming up next is a mail drop box. I call it Mail Magic from Schmack MC. All right, hey Joe, this is a video opening your box. Um, I haven't been able to put all the videos on of opening all the boxes because there's just been so many. It'd just be nothing but nonstop videos of me opening boxes. Yeah, I mean, I Here's the creek behind the, the hotel. And they got a gas grill back here and horseshoe and a picnic table for you. 
Here's some more pictures from around uh, Woodstock, North Woodstock. Cool town. Very trendy, very, you know, touristy. Lots of tourist traps. Some cool cars that I saw. I think this is a Crosley. I'm not sure what this is, a Lotus or something. Now, thank you, Bluto, for the very candid Amazon review. Thank you for the five stars. And i got to thank my buddy Brad for doing a nice write-up in Murmurzine for Painted Blazes. There's a link below. And as promised, here's some pictures from the Appalachian Trail program I did at the local library. Great turnout. Uh, I'll have a more thorough video later. Here's Shutterbug. I'll put her link below to her YouTube channel. And next up is Hike Hunter. He came all the way from Texas on his way somewhere else, but it worked out just great. Please check out Painted Blazes on Amazon.com, ebook or print, and PaintedBlazes.com, my official website. Bye, guys.